In 1974, a group of Newburyport residents who were concerned with the lack of support services for adults with developmental disabilities founded Opportunity Works with the vision of empowering people with disabilities to experience the freedom to live, work, and enjoy a valuable role in society. Today we have about 300 individuals from Merrimack Valley and North Shore communities from ages 22 to 85 to whom we provide services in our Newburyport and Haver locations. Programs available at Opportunity Works include a day rehabilitation program, specialized, community-based day supports, and acquired brain injury. The day hab program is designed to provide a series of planned, coordinated, goal-oriented services such as training in self-care and self-preservation, receptive and expressive communication, self-direction, community skills, activities of daily living, hygiene, grooming, recreation, and leisure. Clinical support services include occupational and physical therapy, speech and language services, and behavioral consultation. The Community-Based Day Services, CBDS program, is a model designed for people who desire services in addition to work. This program encourages self-determination by empowering participants to select activities that are personally meaningful to them. Individuals select from a broad range of activities in community settings, such as museums, parks, fitness centers, farms, theaters, and local volunteer groups. Individuals participate in other activities including nutrition and cooking, computer skills, current events, fire safety, and human rights groups. Our specialized program assists individuals who have clinical needs. We have a higher staff ratio as these individuals often require behavioral plans. The Acquired Brain Injury Program utilizes a person-centered approach and includes structured activities and interventions that provide instruction and support in five key areas. These include accommodating changes in physical functioning, cognitive abilities, executive functioning areas, behavior and emotion regulation, and language and communication development. Pre-COVID, our CBDS program was out in the community daily. Our individuals took part in volunteer opportunities at the Salvation Army, area churches, and food pantries, but when COVID hit, we had to shut down for four months. Thanks to our dedicated and creative staff members, we immediately pivoted to remote programming via Google Classroom. We established a robust schedule of online programming, starting with daily morning meetings and classes in money skills, vocational skills, human rights, painting, exercise, and dance party. We currently offer four classes per day that are available for both in-person and remote individuals to participate in together as part of hybrid programming. We finally reopened our doors on August 10th and currently have about 50 individuals back in Haverhill and about 30 in Newburyport. The rest are at home and being serviced remotely with access to all class scheduling on Google Classroom. When reopening, our goal was to safely provide services to as many participants as possible to maximize learning and address our participants' holistic needs. This includes a hybrid model of small group, in-person settings at our facilities and in the community, as well as remote services using web-based platforms such as Google Classroom, Zoom, and BlueJeans. To slow the spread of COVID-19, all program staff must wear surgical masks or face shields while working with participants and interacting with other staff, caregivers, family members, and guardians. We maintain a three-week supply of PPE, including masks, shields, gloves, gowns and booties, and in place is a process to review inventory and review PPE burn rates. We have considered the physical building capacity limitations in calculating the maximum number of individuals and staff who should occupy the building and each area within the building. In order to maintain physical distancing guidelines, we have implemented the following. 
We have redesigned or repurposed all rooms to meet or exceed six feet of social distance among participants and staff. Staggered drop-off and pick-up times during transportation. We have established procedures for participants entering and exiting the building to minimize risk. We are refraining from games and activities that encourage physical contact or proximity of less than six feet and limiting gatherings, events, and extracurricular activities to those that can maintain social distancing. Community Works is a without walls community-based day service that supports and empowers people with intellectual disabilities, developmental disabilities, and those who are on the autism spectrum. Our main goal is to acquire and refine work and life skills with a focus on functional learning, community access and inclusion, meaningful community contribution, and work exploration. Team members use their time in the community and at volunteer sites to develop skills that they have previously identified they would like to either improve upon or acquire with long-term goal of obtaining meaningful employment. Our weekly schedule varies with rotating activities to allow each team member to not only work with a variety of peers, but to encourage community inclusiveness by spending some time each week in their hometown with their group. The basic schedule includes being picked up by a team leader at home, morning meeting and time at their morning volunteer or site, after lunch in the community or at their volunteer site, teams either participate in self-directed volunteer work, job exploration, or a TV show production meeting, all completed at a community library or public meeting space, afternoon wrap-up meeting, then transport by the team leader home. Team members also take part in weekly work readiness workshops that give them the opportunity to focus on different aspects of work readiness and soft skills that are important to successfully obtaining employment. At this time, Community Works currently offers a hybrid model due to the pandemic. Team members take part in a combination of remote meetings throughout the day with a focus on honing work, life, and social skills throughout the day. Team members also have the opportunity to take part in small-scale in-person volunteer opportunities and scheduled shifts at our group employment site. We look forward to getting back to our usual schedule as soon as we are able. Opportunity Works offers employment services to individuals who express a desire to explore and obtain jobs within their community. The agency provides vocational assessments, career exploration, on-the-job training, job placement, follow-up, and supervision. How do we do this? We offer both group-supported employment and individual-supported employment. Group-supported employment. In this enclave setting, an employment specialist provides on-site job training and supervision to a small group of individuals who are employed at a business in their community. Individual-supported employment. The agency assists individuals to secure full or part-time competitive employment with his or her community. The overall goal is to develop, maintain, and or improve job skills, including career planning and advancement. Once job placement is achieved, an employment specialist provides periodic assistance, training, and support. When the pandemic began, part of our responsibility as staff, administration, families, and caregivers was to do all we could to help our loved ones during this time. As we all know, there is no substitute for the attention and engagement that is only possible with in-person services and learning. We realized it would take all of us working together to make this a successful return to the level and quality of programming and community involvement prior to the pandemic. Our mission at Opportunity Works is to enhance the quality of life of people with developmental disabilities by empowering individuals and promoting a culture of dignity and respect through integration, inclusion, and independence. It is our hope that once more people are vaccinated and families are more comfortable having their loved ones return to Opportunity Works, that we can begin integrating back into the community and regain our partnerships to ensure that individuals remain valued and active members of the community.